So, I guess you know why you're here. If it's about the posters, I, I think it's awful. It, it's a travesty. Travesty? Huh. That's funny because I think you did it. Wait. Are you accusing me? You're not serious. Mr. M, we worked on SGA for three solid years. I... I can't believe this. Mr. McAllister, I'm running on my qualifications here. I would never need to resort to vandalism, like... You know... Besides, my best banner was torn down. Did I do that too? Were you or were you not working in the watchdog office over the weekend? I was. So, Mr. Petrillo let me in. As you know, with all of my responsibilities, I often come here on the weekends, and I have permission to do so. Besides, I left very early, around 6.30. 6.30? How do you know what time the posters were torn down? I don't. I just know that they were there when I left. I'm giving you helpful information is all. You know, instead of wasting time interrogating me, we should be out there trying to figure out who really did this. Okay, Tracy. Who do you think did it, huh? Who should we interrogate? Well, I don't know. It could have been anybody. You know, there are a lot of subversive elements around Millard. You know, Rick Thiessen, Kevin Speck, and those burnouts. What about Doug Snicken? What about him? Tammy Metzier. Her whole campaign is anti-this and anti-that. You're a very intelligent girl, Tracy. You have many admirable qualities. But someday, you'll learn that being on top and doing things to get ahead, and yes, stepping on other people to get there, well, there's more to life than that. And in the end, you're only cheating yourself. Why are you lecturing me? This isn't the time or place to get into it, but there is just one example, a former colleague of mine who made a big mistake, a life mistake. I think the lesson here is that old or young, we all make mistakes, and our actions, all of them, carry serious consequences. You're young, Tracy. Underage, in fact. But maybe someday you'll understand. I don't know what you're referring to, but I do know that if certain older, wiser people hadn't acted like such little babies and gotten mushy about everything, everything would be okay. I agree. And I also think that certain young and naive people should thank their lucky stars and be very, very grateful that the whole school didn't find out about certain indiscretions that could have ruined their reputation and chances to win certain elections. And I think that certain older, wiser people, like you and your colleague, shouldn't be leching after their students. Especially when some of them can't even get their own wives pregnant. And they certainly shouldn't be running around making slanderous accusations. Especially when certain young, naive people's mothers are paralegal secretaries at the city's biggest law firm and have won many successful lawsuits. And if you want to continue questioning me like this, I would not continue without my attorney present. Okay, Tracy. Have it your way.